Hello and welcome to the Harmony SMP. My name is Weird and Bearded, and today we are here to say goodbye to the Easter District, at least for now. I can't wait to see how this place evolves, but the Easter egg hunt is over. We're going to be moving on to other projects. But before we start with that, there is a little note from our sponsors. I'm just kidding, there's no real sponsors, it's just me, but watch a video and you'll find out. Do you like mining? Crafting? Building? Flying? Interacting with other people? Creating content? Where's my camera? Sitting in large chairs? Well, maybe you'd like to join the Harmony SMP. Join the Discord link down in the description for more information. Now, how do I get down from here? Oh, that's right, we are recruiting. So please head on over to the Discord, fill in an application form. It feels far more official than it actually is, but we want to get some more people to join us on the server and get some more people playing with us. But in the meantime, let's start looking around at what projects we have still to complete. So the Easter District is done for now. As I said, I'm sure this will be evolving. But then over in this direction, we have the Industrial District. So over here in the Industrial District, we currently have two farms, kind of. We've got the Gunpowder Farm, which is working, but we do need to get in a lot more spawning platforms so we can get a lot of speed out of it. And that's something that we will do over time. We also have the Iron Amphitheatre Mark III, which we're halfway through building. Um, but we'll finish that, hopefully, in an upcoming episode, maybe next week, maybe the week after. We've had a bit of a slowdown at the moment because we were busy with the Easter District. But we have started getting the villages into place. If I fly up here, you can see there are some villages there waiting to grow up. But apart from that, we have villages all along this side. Just three more sides to go. It takes a while. So... We've got those two to be completed, and there'll be other farms coming in, I'm sure. I hope so. We kind of need more farms over here. Let's head over in that direction. Over here we have my base and this site of my future personal industrial district with the secret project going on, which is why I'm going to be facing in very specific directions. We have our villages set up, which has proved very useful so far, and you can see quite a lot of resources from what I've been gathering. If we look over in that direction, we will see my villager breeder. And here we have some stuff for later today. Let's head back to the main island for some more things that we need to do some work on. And then over here, we have our main area. This is where we started out. I'll be honest, it could probably do with a little bit of a tidy. Oh, skeleton horses. Then you. Hi. Yay, I'm on a skeleton horse. Anyway. Um, so we have our starting house. I believe this place is for traded materials with so many cats. Uh, yeah, this seems to be for trading stuff. We have our villager trader here. We put in some lava because we kept getting annoyed by iron golems. And then we put a roof on it anyway. So we didn't really need the lava. Beyond that, we have a cactus farm. We've got a small bee farm. Uh, we have various animal pens. There's just a lot going on. As I said, it could probably do with a bit of a tidy. And I'm going to be helping with that today by adding something new. So maybe not helping. Um, so we've got the sugarcane area. We've got some sugarcane in there. We've got some bamboo growing, and the chest from earlier. And the reason that that is a chest from earlier is that we are going to be building right here. We're going to need to take some stuff down. It doesn't need too much landscaping, but it is time to build the first shop on the server. So we have decided we're going to be sharing out our resources. That's why we've got the communal industrial district. That's why we all started out in this nice communal area. We're going to be sharing resources, but we have said we can trade for services. So that's what I'm going to do. I am a redstoner. It's time for me to build a redstone shop.
So this is it. It is complete. We have a large sticky piston taking up the landscape. I'm really happy with how this looks. I was going to try to go a bit more realistic, but breaking it down to simple colours I think has worked really nicely. And the slime spreads out onto the ground because I can use moss blocks to not attach to slime blocks. Which means that you approach the shop and you just walk forwards and it throws you up into here. Then you walk along this little corridor and you come out into the main room, which is pretty bare, but I don't mind that. But what we have in the corner, there is sample redstone to come. There is no way we're getting this done anytime soon. I need a lot of resources for this. We've got to get our industrial district going first. But there's going to be a big build right underneath here just to show some of the fun stuff. We have an end chest, of course, because while there's not really a cost here, this is a shop, so we should always have an end chest. And then we have the main thing. We have our book and a barrel. Welcome to Weird and Bearded's Wiring Advice Bureau. That's right, this shop is called WabWab. It makes me happy, don't question it. Welcome to Weird and Bearded's Wiring Advice Bureau. Want me to build you a machine? Got a device that isn't working. Put the details of your request over the page. There's no charge, but feel free to leave a donation in the barrel. And that's what the barrel's for, just for leaving some donations. So yeah, this is a completely free service. Um, we're here to work on a sense of community, but I don't think we're planning on really charging for things. There's a general idea that we'll trade services for services. So if somebody were to come up with a landscaping service, then it might be, hey, I'll do some landscaping for you if you look at my redstone build. Something along those lines. Uh, in other news, we have plans for dealing with tidying this area up. So if you were to join my live stream, which is going to be the day after this video comes out at 7 p.m. BST, there's going to be at least some of us on here just getting this area tidied, clearing things out, making things look a bit better. So if this is still the standard portal that we built at the start, we can probably make some improvements there. But that is everything for today. So, if you liked the episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're a content creator and want to join the server, do head over to the Discord. We'd love to get some more people on. But in the meantime... My name is Weird and Bearded, and I will see you all next time.